Hello, my name is Kasper and in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create custom scenarios for Crossroads scene. Okay, so how do you run the tutorial? You just open Crossroads scene. Uh, excuse me for this Polish, I don't know why, why is it in Polish, in this random language. So we click here, properties, uh, local files and then we click here, like browse local files or whatever it is in English. And here we have editor. Okay, here's the opening window of scenario editor. Uh, yeah, here I here I've put my data. Like here we can create new scenario. Like we don't need it now. We can save scenario. So yeah, why not? Okay, so I'll call it also scenario tutorial all right yeah now we can load it yeah but we also don't need it here's a new day script call we don't need that uh, I, i've never used it and here you write name of the script that will be called each time you load the game so basically a script with uh, all custom functions and yeah, I just always use the one I wrote, so uh, it's called zero zero functions, and yeah, it's kind of kind of useful. So I advise you to do the same. Here we just input starting money, so the more the merrier, and starting resources. That's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, uh, we're all set uh, at this page right now. So yeah, save scenario and uh, yeah, let's go. So this pretty picture is our map. Maybe I'll reload it. Yeah, so here we got nothing. There are a few ways how we can uh, create a map. Because right now you unfortunately cannot add custom images. So we, in the description are those uh, IDs. So you need this to load an image from the game engine. Uh, you can choose this one or the Europe one. And yeah, here basically you can start creating maps. Here the easiest thing you can do is to download, yeah, probably from the link down below. We can just load a map. This is the basic map uh, that we use in sandbox mode. Yeah, so those are all those uh, places in Delcris, roads and stuff. Many, many things like this is kind of complicated. So the fastest way to get the map is download and then load the one in the description. So map Delcris basic. Next, here, here you create a tavern. First you need to click add land. And then you can, you know, just like, uh, just like in the normal game mode, you can create. It doesn't cost anything, and you you can build the uh, inn as big as you want. Apart from that, it's same, but that's basically. Uh, this is optional. Like you can start like in sandbox mode with just empty field. Uh, but if you want to build something, remember to click add land. It will create this plane. Uh, and then we, you, you'll be able to build, like without it, you can't. Dialogue systems. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is the heart of this editor, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's quickly create a dialogue. I'll probably do a longer video, like more advanced video about how to create dialogues in Crossroads scene, but for now uh, we just create like can name it dialog one, dialog one. Yeah, so this is ID like key, and this is just this is just name, so it's whatever. Okay, so I'll just name it dialog one uh, arrival. Yeah, it's just a name, you know. So this is our dialog. You know, here we got list of all of our dialogues like dialog trees and here we edit the tree so yeah someone visits us and say hello this is the first text opening of the dialogue uh, 
now we create some answers free answers for example like hello to you or um, bye or for example get lost yeah and now this is the list of those of those answers like three ways you can answer to this hello and yeah here you input like name of the hero that's talking and image so character Randy for example like you can choose it for the from the list here are the you know our characters from the game all right and now we can just push test talk and we see Remy in all of his glory hello innkeeper and we got those three options but each of them is ending with like you know is ending dialogue so we can select this one this answer and add some responses so yeah here i'm adding a response this is okay bye yeah that's it and now we need some ways for the player to answer to them uh, so yeah we can add two responses those two basically that's it like hello innkeeper we got three options those two and the conversation and we can choose hello to you and he says okay bye and now we can end conversation yeah that's it. Uh, here we can see this complicated dialogue tree so yeah here he says hello innkeeper okay yeah it goes something like this I guess yeah so basically that's how this tree looks um, you know you get uh, hello and you can answer then he answers and those two answers or you just can say goodbye that's how the dialogue flows basically yeah that, that was easy here are more complicated things that i think i'll be talking about another time and yeah here are all the options that weren't like included in here so this list is, you know, uh, every other thing that needs that needs a menu to create. So here you can edit resources, recipes. But the most important thing is here the shop objects. And here, when you click default, you it loads uh, all basic stuff from the game. Basically, we can like unlock all or lock all or just uh, choose which one we, we want to have locked and which unlocked unfortunately it uh, refreshes uh, you know only when we <laughs> change the menu you know the list refreshes but that's basically it so here's the list of all the objects in the game uh, that we can kind of edit also you can use those keys you know uh, by which you can like do things like unlock objects in game or something like that this is what you need in uh, while coding so resources have those keys and recipes and shop objects i have no idea what this is uh, there are scripts uh, so we can create some scripts i'll call it like whatever you know 